playing dynamic audio in server-side Blazor. Playing an audio file in Blazor is simple. Just enter a tag like this, with the source pointing to an MP3 file. When you run the application, an audio player will appear, and the file will be playable using the controls. To demonstrate how to play audio created by a dynamic source, we will start with the code from the article Blazor Video Creator available on blazorhelpwebsite.com. We start with this UI markup. This will contain two drop downs, once for the voicey and one for the voice style. When the play audio button is clicked, the processing label will turn top row. During this period, RS based call to the Microsoft Cognitive Services endpoint is made to request an audio file for the selected voice in the selected style, saying the words this is an audio test. The audio is returned as a string off bytes and emitted as audio. For the voice a dropdown we create a simple collection of the possible voices. Each voice has a list of associated styles. This is the collection created for the Jenny Neural voice. We associate the style to the voice using the voice ID number property. When a voice is changed in the dropdown, the in change event is fired. It will set the collection of styles to those associated with the selected voice. The style dropdown, bound to the collection, will display the styles for the selected voice. When the play audio button is pressed the load audio method is called. This gets selected voice and style, gets the bytes for the audio file, puts the bytes in a memory stream, and plays the audio file. Notice that to play the audio, it passes the bytes in the memory stream to the play audio file stream method using JES invoke void isync. The play audio file stream method is a JavaScript method contained in the layout CES homepage. This is the key to playing dynamic audio. This method dynamically creates an audio element and plays the audio. For completeness, we also show the create audio file method, called by the load audio method, that calls the Microsoft Cognitive Services endpoint to get the audio as a byte array. This uses a ZSML syntax to instruct the service to return audio using the selected voice and style. 